What would you like to talk about? Pride. What? Pride. 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 Are you proud? At times. Sometimes. Why? What are you proud about? About achieving. Huh? Achieving. Achieving. What have you achieved? Or admiring people who have achieved? Or do you want to achieve? Is that what you want to talk about? Pride, achievement, success, money, position, power. Is that what you all want? Probably you all do. Don't fool yourself. Don't deceive yourself. You all want to do, have those things. Yes, sir. We all want that because uh, in today's uh, world we can't live without those things. What? In today's world we can't live without those things. In these times, the boy says, we can't live without those things. How do you know? Anyway, you see a poor man, uh, they never give him any respect. You come over here. <laughs> Oh? Any day they see a poor man or anything, sir, they'll never give him anything or they won't uh, try to make him a nice man or they won't give him any respect. So what do you want to be? Sir, anything which we can achieve enough respect for, uh, for living a happy life, but not too much of respect. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite right. Not too much respect, but fairly comfortable life. Yes. And a happy life, is that yes. it? Is that what you want? Yes. Then go after it. Sir, but it's not so easy unless you try and achieve it. Has any other question? Sir, what is the difference between meditation and concentration? What? What is the difference between meditation and concentration? Between education, so what meditation between meditation. concentration, dedication, meditation, meditation and concentration. And I, I understood. Do you really want to talk about that? Yes, sir. Or is it a game? No. Or just fun to talk about something yours? I may be interested in. Is that it? You really want to know what is meditation and concentration? Yes, sir. All right, sir. <laughs> if you really want to talk about that, will you pay attention to what I'm talking, what I'm going to say? Yes, sir. Don't say yes, sir. And <laughs> fidget. Do you really want to talk about it? If you do, it's a very, very serious subject. What do you think is concentration? It's something which you have, uh, you really want to think about, sir. Yes. Think about Some... it deeply. Huh? Go into it deeply. Think about it deeply for a... Think about deeply. Think about it deeply. Think about it deeply. What do you mean by that? Something in which we want to keep our minds on. What? Something which we uh, keep our minds on. Come over here. <laughs> Something you want to keep your mind on. Right? Have you tried it? You want to look at those flowers, or your book, or what your educator is saying. Have you ever looked at it very carefully, those flowers? 
what the teacher is telling you, listen to him, and concentrate on a book, have you? Sometimes. Sometimes. When does that happen? When you like it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, when you like something, you put your attention, your thought, your energy in observing it. Right? Mm. And that's generally called concentration. Mm. That is, you concentrate on the book you are reading, right? Mm. Or on something that you are looking very carefully at those flowers, right? Or what your friend or your teacher is telling you, right? Have you ever watched very carefully, concentrate on something for a long time? Not for a second or two, but for a long time. Have you done it? I don't know. Actually. Yes, try it now. Okay. <laughs> try now to listen very carefully to what somebody is saying to you, or look at those flowers for a long time, hmm? not allow any other thought to come in. That's what means concentration. Focusing, giving all your attention to something that you are listening to, or reading a book, or watching something, a lizard going across the wall. Hmm? Mm. Will you do it? Are you doing it now? Yeah. Huh? Stop, yeah. You are? Yeah. Good. Now, when that takes place, what happens? We understand the thing. You, not only you understand, but what is happening? Go, I'll explain to you presently. You think it out for yourself. Where do you come from? Hmm? Where do you come from? Uh, yes. Mangalore. Mangalore. Good. I've got two boys now, two girls. Now, he wants to know. What is the difference between concentration and meditation? Right? You don't know the word meditation, do you? What it means? No. Nor do you know the meaning of the word concentration? No, no, I think I Now you know, because I've pointed out to you. So, concentration means. Focusing your thought, your energy on something. So, what? But is it difficult to, I mean, concentrate on something without any thought in your mind? Come on, yeah. Move, move a bit so that we give her more room. <laughs> She's a big girl, right? She's a big girl. But isn't it difficult to concentrate on something without any thought in your mind? That's it. Is it not difficult? Listen to it carefully. Is it not difficult to concentrate on something without thoughts coming in? I think it is. Huh? It is difficult. It is difficult, isn't it? So, then what do you do? We try and keep the other thoughts uh, away. away. Yeah. Then, who keeps the... I won't make it complicated for you. So, you concentrate on a book, and other thoughts come in, right? Right? Yeah. Then what do you do? We try to get it out. Huh? We try to 
I mean, keep them away. Yeah, you try to push other thoughts away. Yeah. Now, what, ha what goes on in that process? I'm concentrating on this, thoughts come in, then I try to push them away, right? And then thoughts come in. So I keep this, don't I? Right? Yes. Are you pay are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. Don't if you're not interested, don't bother. It yes, I'm thinking of uh, answer which you could give correctly for What? I'm thinking of an answer which you could give correctly for. I can't understand you. I can think I'm thinking of an answer which you could give correctly for it. Look, sir, I was telling you when you concentrate on something, other thoughts come in. Right? Yes. Then you try to push those thoughts away. And then you try to concentrate. So there's this going on all the time, right? So Think, but why do those thoughts come in? Huh? But why do those we, thoughts we are coming to that presently. Yes. See first see what have what is happening. You want to concentrate on something, then thoughts co come in, and then you push them out, and again thoughts come in, and again you push them out. So you really are not concentrating, are you? No. Because thoughts come in and disturb. <coughs> now he asks, why do thoughts come in? Right? Yes. Now you tell me why thoughts come in. I'll tell you. I think it's because we think about huh? because when you are doing something, uh, it occur, uh, uh, something else occurs to us. We think about that. Yes, that is. You want to, you are thinking about this. You are also thinking about something else. Mm. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Why why does this happen? Come and sit here. Sorry, three boys and a girl. Come and sit. So, as you keep con as you uh, try to concentrate, you keep thinking that I should not allow thoughts to come in, and so they come in. Yes. Why? Why do they come in? Yeah, because you keep thinking about it. But you're also thinking about this. So, because we're suppressing them, sir. Huh? Because we are That's right. You have got it. You have understood what you have said? Yes. Not quite. You are trying to concentrate on this, other thoughts come in, then you try to suppress thoughts, and only other thoughts except this. Right? So what is happening when you suppress? I suppress uh, my. I'm uncomfortable. I have eaten bad food, and I feel right. And I try to suppress my pain. Now, why do you do that? Why? Why do you have suppression? Why do you suppress? Because you think that it will be right, sir. If you suppress, they won't come again. So you suppress it. That's you right. So. He says, when you suppress them, they come back again. So it is futile to suppress. Right? Right? It will be wrong to suppress, futile to suppress. Then what will you do? If you are really thinking about it, sir, we should not get any other thoughts. Huh? If you are really thinking about something very seriously, sir, we will never get other thoughts. Other thoughts come in, old boy. Yes, sir, but when you are really uh, thinking without any other things, no, why should they come? Now, wouldn't you und try to understand why thoughts are always moving back and forth, right? Wouldn't you ask that question? Yes, 